in this short video, I'm gonna be drawing with Procreate for the very first time. This should be a lot of fun. Roll that intro. Hi there and welcome back to the studio. My name's Andrew and it is an absolute pleasure to have your company once again. Now in this short video, I'm gonna be drawing with Procreate for the very first time. Now I embraced the digital world many years ago and it's been an interesting journey. It has helped me push my traditional oil painting so much further and opened up so many amazing possibilities when it comes to designing and composing my pictures. Now Procreate has been around for a while, but I've resisted picking it up because I just wanted to stay in the Photoshop lane. But I must admit, after seeing a few artists use it now, I thought, well, maybe I should give it a go. and Maybe there's something there that I'm missing. Now, before we get stuck into the video, here's the reference material that I'm going to be drawing from. Now, recently we had the rodeo come through town, and this was an incredible event and an amazing opportunity for me as an artist to get up close with some animals and just get more anatomical reference material. I was really interested here in the flow and energy and musculature and the light shining on these forms. And I thought, why don't I give this bull a shot? Now I've got a few more drawings and paintings coming from this series of photographs that I captured, but I thought this would be a good place to start this particular exercise and have a go drawing something relatively simple in Procreate. Let's get stuck into it. All right, so we got the iPad here. All right, now, ah, good, good, okay. So I guess I can adjust my tone with that. Let's go kind of Conti. Well, how come I can't see it now? What's, go what's going on, mate? Okay, <laughs> all right, note to self, hit the right function at the top of the iPad. Okay, back to brush. Ah, jolly good. Okay, all right, we're in business. All right, so. Let's have a nice ovoid for the abdomen. Ground to abdomen ratio, about two. There we go. Oh, I love that that leg right there in the front that just anchors the action, the pose in this bull striding forward to that front leg. I'm not getting much control with the end of this pencil. This is quite interesting. I'm, I'm sure I could find a smaller one to use, but I also do kind of like the idea of a broad pencil to just block in a shape first. So start off loose and general and then work your way towards those specifics. It's kind of the way I paint, you know, blocking in loose first, but here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no. Oh, you can zoom. This is too cool. Like you can zoom and reposition. I didn't know you could do that. I mean, obviously you could do that with photos on an iPad, but here, this is insane. Just love the shape, that dome shape to the top of the head. Really cool. It's got a nice flow to it, but it's also got a lovely kind of chattered effect to the edge. It's not a, it's not a continuous line. It's really, um, it's really quite interesting. The thing I'm seeing is that the harder you press, the darker the line gets. So that's very similar to an actual pencil. Oh, I like that. Very similar to Little Pine. Let's go a little larger. Whoa, too large. <laughs> Abort, abort. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's bold. Oh, that would get some nice painterly stuff there. You know what might be nice is maybe having some sort of background. Ha. Okay. It's very intuitive. It's like the first thing you think would do something to make a difference is generally the thing that seems to work. Let's get rid of some of those initial marks on the background background. Color fill. Yeah, yeah, interesting. No, 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 clear. Okay, okay, be that way. Be that way. I don't even care. I don't care. Look how much I care right now. All right, and I won't worry about the layers for now. I, I'll work that out in time. There's something different going on here than there is in Photoshop, because when I'm drawing on the Wacom tablet, I, I, I'm not looking at what I'm drawing. I'm, I'm drawing down on the tablet and looking at the screen, so it's very different. 
this, I must admit, I, I kind of like drawing directly on the surface that I'm looking at, like a traditional feel media. Yeah, it's very interesting. I've kind of, I'm starting to feel that zone. It, it like, it, it washes over you like a bit of a flood where you're like, ooh, I'm starting to feel creative. I mean, that what was frustration is now turning into intrigue. All right, let's get a little background in there. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on the one layer for today and we'll, we'll work on, work on our layers at another point. Maybe when I do one of those rodeo guys. Oh, wow. If you, if you tilt your pencil, you can use the broad side of the pencil rather than just the point, you know? So uh, you can get like a, a fine line or you can show, <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I like it. That just, that just opened up another dimension. Oh, that's gonna be fun to add those highlights back in. It's got that lovely fold of skin right there. Well, I can definitely say I'm better at Procreate than John Singer Sargent. I win, John Singer Sargent. I win. That one's a lot better for this sketchy hatch line. Oh, I like that. A lot more resolved and a lot more uh, detailed than I thought I could go. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, you, you can go virtually infinite amount of detail in Photoshop, like finer details and you'd be able to pick up with your eye anyway. But this is, this is next level. This is, this is really cool. All right, let's get a nice mid-tone put in there. Yeah, we'll bring a nice dark mid-tone up. You know, even when drawing digitally, I still like to maintain some sort of traditional aspect. I mean, our fundamentals aren't gonna change. We're still gonna have tone and, and line and color and texture and all those things. It's just amazing how we can mimic that with the digital process here. Gloam it out a little bit, shift it over. It's a legend of old spindly leg, the ball that never made the cut. Oh, I've been doing it manually. I don't have to do that. You silly dude. I can just adjust my tone right there. Nice. Starting to hone in on a technique here. Starting to get a particular look. And once we get in a bit of structure given by those hatchy lines, maybe we can get in a bit of uh, roundness to those forms. So what can I say about this? Well, I can say definitely without a shadow of a doubt, this is an amazing program. It is incredibly responsive. It's intuitive. The thing, if you're looking for something, and this is the first time I've used it, and without looking for instructions or anything, the thing you think is gonna be the solution to the issue that you're having, like the, the undo, the redo, the thing you think it's going to be is the thing it is. And yeah, look, it helps having a little bit of background with digital design. Using Photoshop is great, but all, all the main components are here. I mean, the main thing I love about the Photoshop is that you've got your layering component, you've got all those brush tools you can have, and then just the versatility of being able to zoom out, rotate, crop, select an image, drag it off, you know, change the shape of something. It's all here, but it's just boiled down to the essential bits. This is such an amazing place. I mean, if you're starting out with digital design, I, I, I gotta say, I, for me, it's uh, seven out of 10. No one gets more than seven out of 10. No, okay. I say it's nine and a half, nine and a half out of 10. Ooh, oh, that's the edging. Oh, that's cool. Maximum jitter, maximum jitter. No, too much jitter. Oh, wow, pressure, maximum, opacity. Mmm tip but no i'm having a blast man this is like this is like video games not that i play video games ever but that's what i imagine
Now, this was a really interesting exercise. I must admit, I enjoyed it a heck of a lot more than I thought I would. I don't know why I resisted taking Procreate on. I, I don't know why I resisted it for so long. I guess I was just stuck in that Photoshop lane and really wanting to push those skills and develop those. But I think this thing, it's not gonna hurt just adding another little thing to my, my bag of tricks. And now I've got something else that I can draw upon. So I'm looking forward to developing this skill more and seeing how it can actually help my studio painting a lot like Photoshop has helped my studio painting, certainly with the design process. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and perhaps maybe you've come away with something new. If you liked it, then make sure you click that like button for me and leave me a comment down below. Of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification icon so you're notified when I upload another video. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook, but most important, make sure you follow me on my website and subscribe while you're there, andrewtischler.com. Thanks so much for stopping by. It has been a blast hanging out with you here again, and I'll see you again very, very soon. So long.